How's it going guys, Sadler here, and today I'm going to teach you how to be every single um, invincible boss, like um, Termorphus, Hyperius, Master Gi, and the new ones from the DLC, I haven't played them yet so I don't know, how to beat them all in 30 seconds. And you'll need mainly one thing for this, and it is the weapon named the Evil Smasher which you get from um, from the mission in the campaign called the chosen one uh, I think it's towards the end of the campaign from Marcus so you need this and I recommend using the infinity pistol as well um, because this is how you really see the sheer power of this uh, weapon so what you want to do is you want to have the evil smasher equipped as you can see I've got the hard evil smasher it doesn't matter on your stats of the gun and you want to have any other secondary gun, and as I said, the infinity pistol, because you have infinity ammo and you didn't need to reload. And I'll get on to why, why it's better to have something that doesn't reload later on in the video. Um, but what you want to do to do this little thing and make your gun an absolute beast and tear through every single enemy, you want to shoot all the pellets out of the um, evil smasher as you've seen before. And you want to keep double wine, you should see explosions come up on your screen, and what this is doing... This is adding damage, accuracy, recoil, well, it's getting rid of recoil, um, it's making your fire rate faster, it's just making the gun an overall beast, basically. So the longer you go, the more intense the explosions will become on your screen, so you'll be getting more lag, which is bad in a way, but it'll be totally worth it at the end, like, at the end when you're dealing against the bosses. Um, but just stick at it, and you should see your mag your magazine size just start to increase. And usually, say with the Infinity Pistol, you only have one ma one bullet in a mag, and it keeps going up the longer you do it. So if I was you, I would get it going to about 200, as you can see me going here. So here's the uh, thing you need to watch out for: when you're using the Evil Smasher and you double wine, if you accidentally reload, don't shoot. Like if it completely reloads and fills up your ammo kind of thing uh, don't shoot because then if you shoot and then reload again your damage of your secondary gun will go back to zero or go back to very low so you want to just keep double eye in and then when you're at the the perfect one maybe let it completely reload and then just switch to your secondary and don't like don't go back to the evil smasher or keep it like in the reload motion but don't double eye basically So as you can see, I've got my um, my magazine size and my infinity pistol to over 200, so I did 205. So this does a lot of damage now. It does between 800k um, to like, I think the max I've seen is 3 million. And that's quite insane. Um, I, I got it higher later on in the video, as you can see when I versed Terramorphus, just to show you how fast this kills. I actually kill Hyperius as well. So you can see like what this gun actually does do when completely buffed up with the Evil Smasher. Um, some people might say this is cheating, this is glitching, but if you think about it, it's just like using the B in conference call um, from like before the patch, because this is basically what the B did to the conference call, and yeah, like now after the patch it's really bad, and it's actually fair now after the patch. But now this has came out, this is the new thing, this is the new technique on how to kill every single enemy extremely fast so this is why everyone's doing it and as you can see i equip the sandhawk soon and if you don't know what the sandhawk is this is an extremely powerful uh, smg and it's just really good um but yeah you get you, you'll be able to kill all the um all the invincible bosses i couldn't get it out then extremely fast um i think I think I've I've destroyed every single invincible boss in the first DLC and like the normal game like um Terramorphus you can kill them all below 10 seconds the only one that has a little bit of like the only one that was hard to kill was Master G and that took about 30 seconds because I don't know why but that guy has like a couple million health like well not a couple like a hundred million health it's ridiculous hundred million is that is that number yeah I think it. <laughs> Well, if, it, if it's not 100 mil, it, it has a lot anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm just tanking through all these enemies, and I'll wait till I get to Hyperius to talk again. Uh, so, talk to you in about 30 seconds. So, I didn't realise how near I actually was to come into Hyperius. I thought there was like another section of video that I 
recorded. But, you know, I don't think that was 30 seconds, but it doesn't matter. Um, but as you can see, when... I think I'm, I might have slagged Hyperius, I'm not entirely sure, but... Even without slag, and you can actually use this weapon without the B as well, and it's still like an absolute tank, as I, sh as I show in the next part. But, there you go, Hyperius in less than 5 seconds. It just It's just unbelievable, this little combination. I know it's kind of cheap, but, you know, if you're having trouble with the invincible bosses, and while there is no timer on the invincible bosses, so you can completely farm them, um, I would completely recommend doing this. Just stock up on your Seraph Crystals, and beat them if you haven't before, then maybe farm a bit, and then go for some um, legendary weapons, and then try again. So I'll talk to you when we're about to face Terramorphis. So I'm actually about to face Terramorphius now, um, with the um, Evil Smasher combination on my Infinity Pistol, and I got the magazine size to 222, which is a little bit higher than I, um, Hyperius, but this kills Terramorphius in less than 5 seconds, maybe about 4, maybe 3, I'm not entirely sure. This actually killed faster than the conference call with the B, um, back before the patch. But yeah, I'll just let you watch the end of the video, and... Actually, as you can see as well, I completely take off my shield, so this is without the B as well. So, that's about it. Um, I'm sorry this commentary hasn't been like completely up to scratch compared to my previous ones and my legendary guides, because in my opinion, they were quite um, they were quite flawless, I didn't really say anything wrong. But in this one, I kind of stuttered a bit and got my words mixed up. So, thanks for watching guys, uh, stay tuned for more legendary guides, more tips and tricks on Borderlands 2, late to come this week and next week. So, thanks, bye.